everyone, and welcome in once again to Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you as we're getting ready for the second of two in three nights here for the River Dragons. And Columbus coming into this evening against this matchup with the Motor City Rockers in a position to lock up the Continental Division. How do they do that? Well, win and regulation is the simplest answer. Three points for the River Dragons, and they will indeed wrap up the Continental Division crown. They come into tonight's game, 37, 4, 3, 3, and 1. 122 points on the season. And at this point, Carolina can get to a max of 124. So if the River Dragons pick up three, no tiebreakers, none of that monkey business, the River Dragons would outright win uh, the title and the Continental Division crown. Now that would ensure them home ice through the first two rounds of the playoffs. Looking a little further down the road, the River Dragons are seven points away from locking out the Binghamton Black Bears. And if they do that, then the River Dragons have home ice all the way through to the Commissioner's Cup Final should they be able to make it that far. So the River Dragons, not only with an eye here on what's going on tonight, but also the Binghamton Black Bears, who happen to be sharing a hotel in Port Huron with the River Dragons, are in action tonight against the Port Huron Prowlers. And so we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that game. Meanwhile, Motor City comes in in a dogfight with Danbury for the numbers two and three position in the Empire Division. Motor City has one more game played than do the Thrashers. Then they are 23, 19, four, four, and two. That's good for 85 points. Danbury nipping right at their heels in 51 games. They are 20, 17, five, four, and five. So between the two teams, if Danbury does take care of its business and both of these teams happen to do so, well, Danbury could come out on top by a single point in that race in the Empire Division. And the home ice advantage is a huge swing traveling from Motor City to Danbury. And we saw, I mean, if you want to know what home ice means to Danbury, look at last year's Commissioner's Cup where Danbury went to Carolina lost the first two games of that series, then went home and won three in a row to claim the Commissioner's Cup title. So it's very important to get that home ice advantage when and if you can. So that's a big one right there to keep an eye on. But the River Dragons tonight, again, uh, a big, big opportunity here to close out the Continental Division. And again, looking a little further down the road, the FPHL title is on the horizon, but we're not quite there yet. Speaking of not quite there yet, we're not quite to puck drop yet. 7.35 start here tonight. I know we're getting on the air a little late. Want to apologize. A couple of technical difficulties that uh, we are continuing to iron out here, but we got ourselves on the air, and we appreciate you joining us. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got more of the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show coming your way on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow.
And we're back in the Air Force Union Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining me, River Dragons fans. Wanted to tip you off to a couple of changes going on tonight with this River Dragons roster and let you know that uh, it's going to be an off night for Austin Doe. The veteran will get a rest night here this evening. And it does a couple of things for the River Dragons. It allows them to move Carter Shinkarek up to forward, and it also allows them to get both Hugh Anderson and one of the newcomers into this line. Well, not that Anderson's not, but also number five, Parker Layton, into the same game at the same time to find out what the River Dragons may have as far as defensive pairings, potential if both of these players can slot into the lineup, if it might be a one or the other case, who they might else best match up with. And Shinkarek's going to get a chance maybe to play a little bit of center here tonight. And uh, we're going to ask River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard about that just a little bit later on. But uh, a heads up, if you don't hear number 17 in the lineup tonight, that is why it is an off night, a veteran rest night for him as we come down the stretch here. And I think you're probably going to hear a couple of more veteran rest nights coming as the uh, season works its way towards a close, especially because, and this is the, the real important part, Three and threes are very difficult, especially with travel. But even if you're at home, playing three games in three nights is tough on a body. So, of course, if Columbus, and especially if Columbus, is able to wrap up the division, say, tonight and the league within the next maybe four games, uh, then all of a sudden there is an impetus to try to get even more guys, even more rest, so they're fresh for the playoffs and continue to put them in the lineup often enough where they're still playing. They still have a feel for things. Uh, but that you're able to get into the playoffs, know you have home ice wrapped up, and still be able to rest those players. And I think that's a lot of what uh, Columbus's head coach, Jerome Bichard, has in mind right now. And again, we talk about the rookies and Parker Lee, who played his first pro game last night. And uh, another guy, Hugh Anderson, who's come into this lineup and actually has been just a, a tremendous find for the River Dragons. I think both these young defensemen have a bright future ahead of them as far as a pro career. And Columbus likes to see that. And it's hard to argue uh, with the logic of right now, while you can, trying to put these guys into the lineup. And I think that that is exactly what Columbus wants to do. Now, an interesting thing here, taking a look at the River Dragons lineup. One guy not coming out and not slowing down anytime soon, Justin McDonald. His league record scoring streak is now at 38 games. Unbelievable, but he's at 38 games and has 35 goals, 53 assists, 88 points in that stretch. He has a goal in every single game, or a point, I should say, in every single game since December 1st. So we're going on a four-month stretch of hockey that Justin McDonald has been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, his line keeps going. Both Ryan Hunter and Kyle Moore extended their point streaks last night as well. And the River Dragons on the cusp of sewing up the uh, Continental Division tonight, doing it against a Motor City team that uh, has given them a little bit of grief in the past, to be quite honest. Motor City, last time the River Dragons were here, it was a 3-3 three and three right here in this arena. And the River Dragons had a 16-game win streak snapped on a Saturday night. Friday night, Columbus came in and won 8-0. But Motor City jumped on the River Dragons, capitalized on the mistakes, and won 5-4. Columbus has not lost since that game as they came back and beat Motor City again in the third game of that 3-3. Three and three. And the River Dragons back on their own. Tim Horton's win streak, which now for Columbus, shows them winning their last seven in a row. And you can join Tim's, re Tim's Rewards today and get any flavor medium cold drink in your first week when you sign up. Visit TimHortons.com or download the app in your app store of choice. So seven in a row for the River Dragons since then, and believe me, that is still fresh in the minds of some of the guys, and uh, they know exactly what they need to accomplish. All right, we have to take another break in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show when we come back. Out of town scoreboard, and then our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Stay tuned. More coming your way in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, 
one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place, it's the way we do business. prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with our... And we are back here at the Air Force Seating and Air pregame show. Let's take a look at that Zelmo Zip In out of town scoreboard for you. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. In the FPHL tonight, busy evening, and at McMoran Arena, the Black Bears and the Prowlers are scoreless seven and a half minutes into that first period. Other games going on tonight. All start at 7.30 or later. You've got Watertown at Danbury coming up. Also, Blue Ridge is at Carolina tonight. And in the central time zone, 8.30 Eastern time, Mississippi is at the Baton Rouge Zydeco. NHL. On this Friday, just one game. Devils with a 1-0 lead over the Buffalo Sabres. Max Willman, his third goal of the year. Men's hardwood, we've got one game underway right now, and it's early. Number two, Marquette trails number 11, NC State, 11-8. And in the Major League Baseball out-of-town scoreboard, we'll have to get to a bunch of the scores later. But Braves fans, you won your first game of the season. Comeback effort, 9-3 over the Phillies on the makeup date. All right. Back to the break we go because we've got to get our chat in with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. And then we get to the drop of the puck here. First period action on the other side of that. This is the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change apply for a loan or credit card, we can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. 
Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back here in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom, uh, second game of 3-3 three and three here in Michigan. And the River Dragons taking on Motor City for the final season. The Rockers have given you guys a tough run. What is it about this hockey club where they come out and just seem to give you a good game? Well, you know what? They got uh, they got some good players, and, and uh, they play the right way. They play hard. They play uh, direct. And um, it's, a, it's a good game every time we play them. So, uh, you know, we got to kind of be on our toes and be at the top of our game. 4 nothing last night, you beat Port Huron, and uh, I know in that game, it almost seemed like it took a little while to get going there. Was that a bit of a feeling out process? Yeah, you know what, I mean, I think a combination of uh, 857.35 miles. Who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think it took a while to get our legs underneath us and uh, kind of got it going a little bit. And uh, power play was on, on point last night, and uh, actually so was our penalty kill. So. I think that led us to uh, the, the W. You know, it's interesting. Special teams, we don't talk about it a whole lot. And obviously, it's easy to look at the power play last night. But boy, that penalty kill, six for six, that was huge. Yeah, and I didn't like some of the calls we got. But uh, it is what it is. And, you know, um, I think between our kill, just forcing them enough, and, and Port Huron had some really good looks. And uh, they missed a couple They missed a couple shots. And then uh, whatever. Uh, Whatever they did have, uh, Willie stood on his head and made some really big saves. I know this time of year you're trying to get some of the college guys in. Uh, first wanted to ask you what you thought of Parker late in his debut last night. Um, you know what? Parker skates well, moves well, um, moves the puck well, um, and he's fairly physical. So um, you can kind of check all the boxes. Uh, he played, you know, I think he played well last night, just like everybody else did. I think uh, um, we weren't sharp, but we got the job done. And they know a little bit of lineup movement for today as well. You want to talk to us a little bit about the changes? Yeah, just shuffling things up, uh, giving uh, Dozer a night off. Um, I want to see uh, get Hugh back in the lineup and get uh, you know Parker still stay in the lineup. Um, so to do that, sit somebody up front, and uh, uh, Dozer will take the night off, and I'll put uh, Shinks up front and see how he does uh, playing center. I think he's been chomping at the bit all year to get a little latch on up front. All right, well, let's uh, wrap it all up with keys to the game. You know, much like last night, road game. Uh, eliminate turnovers, get the puck in, get our legs going, and, uh, um, you know, don't put on a show. Just go get our, our three points and get out of here. All right, boom, thanks for joining us. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories, unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. settle this. 
Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. at Zelmo's. All Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck. Pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Anthem in the books before tonight's game. And Tom Callahan here with you. And Drew Pierce is running camera tonight. <laughs> He's down there. I'm doing all the producing tonight. It's just one of those evenings, folks. So I'm just going to ask your patience early on this one with us. But uh, you know what? We're able to get the game on the air. And we're going to have some fun with it. And do what we can. We'll try to keep you updated as best as I can with everything fun. Like, you know, the scoreboard and the clock and all that fun stuff. But. Uh, listen to me for the time cues. And so we have a ceremonial puck drop there at center. Starting goaltenders tonight for the River Dragons. And it's going to be Brendan Colgan in net here tonight. And he is 21, 2, 0, oh, and 1 on the season. 2.74 goals against average, 900 save percentage. He'll be opposed by Trevor Babin. And Babin is 18, 10, 0, and 4 with a 9, 19, 2.95 goals against average. And these two have gone head to head a couple of times this year. River Dragons looking to try to maybe find a way to get to Babin early here. It's kind of interesting. The book on Babin is if you can get to him early, by all means do so. Because you can get his head a little bit. And I know that uh, Columbus is looking forward to trying to do exactly that here this evening and trying to get inside the head of the. Motor City Rockers goalkeeper if they can. Columbus trying to sew up the division. The Rockers trying to sew up second place. All right, there we go. Face off coming up at center. We'll get to your referee introductions here in just a moment. Puck is dropped and off we go. First period brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Dumped into the Rockers end of things here. Babin out to poke it away to the corner. And now Motor City trying to clear it around, but can't get it out of the zone. Over to the left side, here's Hunter pursuing, hooking his man up. McDonald able to keep the puck in. More McDonald, Hunter start up front. Underwood and Bockwell on the points. 
Puck around to the right side is now out to center. Bach will up with it. He'll feed it back towards Underwood. River Dragons in their white road uniforms rolling left to right. Tonight in front of our broadcast location is McDonald ahead and offside at the line. Hunter steps in early, 35 seconds in. So your referee introductions are brought to you by the Optical Shop in Phoenix City, where right now for just $99 and a bag of chips, you can get two pair of eyeglasses. Your referees tonight. Number 17, Adam Fish. Number 18, Chris Rowe. Your linesman, number 61, Brian Thurnauer. And number 74, Nick Sharippa. So, puck is sent back in. And right in front of the Motor City net, right back out the other side. And out through center. Puck will be dumped in. Anderson chasing it down. Anderson around behind the net, up the near side. It's cleared towards center. Brody Duncan will bring it up to the stripe, dump it in. Babin steers it aside into the near corner. Campbell after it. And that one cleared across. Duncan steps up, does keep it in at the left point. Nice job. Shinkarik up after it. Carter Shinkarik playing forward here tonight. Along with Jamaif and Petron Tonio, that is the line. Austin Doe has the veteran rest night tonight. Jamaif absorbs a check from Gullo and knocks him down. Motor City resets. Columbus will change it up. Minute and a half gone here in the first period. No score. Puck played ahead, and here come the Rockers dumping it in. In behind the net, Colgan out to play. It'll swing it around. Slahetka on the left side. He'll work it up the near wing, and now away comes Columbus. Storjahan ahead, looking for Bersani into the right wing corner. Bersani after it. They'll play it past Wickline. Storjahan look to center. Storjahan to the left wing corner, knocked off. Played up the far side, and now T.J. Delaney to bring it out for Motor City. Svintsov run into by Slahetka. Puck stays at center, but now it's carried in over the line. It goes right in on Colgan, who's got to poke it away. Play the other way to the point, not out. That one is held in there by Fields. Colgan will try it up the far side again. Storjahan quickly over to Bersani. Bersani for Wickline. Wickline has to dump it in. He'll head to the bench. Bersani up on the four check. Fields is going to loop back behind his own net as Columbus finishes the change. Moore and Hunter out there. McDonald to follow, and there he is. Puck at center, knocked away by Bockwell. Played too far for Moore. Back on the left wing side, Miguel Diaz in on goal with a shot. Colgan the save, puck in the corner, deflected away up the near side. At the left point, Miguel Diaz can't keep it in. Conway pressured, just got it away to Milam. Rockers quickly back in on the right side. There's a shot tipped way up in the air, ends up in the corner. And now it's entering feed all on in front of shot. Stack pad save, Colgan. What a spectacular stop. Point blank on T.J. Sneef. Oh, my goodness. Brandon Colgan stacks the pads and takes it away. Oh, my. What a stop. Well, Colgan looks like he's in top shape early tonight, which is always good to see. Face off to the left of Colgan. River Dragons control. Petrantonio looking ahead to Doe. He'll fire it into the left wing corner. Pardon me, Jemayev. Doe's got the night off, Tom. Come on. Petrantonio on the right side. I'm so used to him being out there. Jemayev, especially on that wing, because now Shinkarik is playing center. Jemayev usually plays center. Rockers back in the other way. Dumped ahead. That hit Bach will turn the other way. Here's Jemayev. He's got Petrantonio. Feeds him right side. He's up one on one. Petrantonio carrying it wide on the right side with a wrist shot, and that is tipped out of play. So the faceoff should stay inside the zone. Faceoff will be coming up just to the left side of the southpaw netminder, Trevor Babin. One back into the corner by Motor City. Vanderweel pursued down there. Tried the near side. Puck on the far wall. Drifts back and carried ahead. Right side. Vanderweel jumps up into the rush. A backhand to the front of the net. Giuliano knocked it out of the air, but high. Ends up behind the net. Played on to the left side. Storjahan looking to move it ahead. He's knocked down, but the play toward the line still not out of there. 
And now it's cleared ahead. No icing back the other way. Rockers trying to set a little bit of a physical tempo early here. Dump back into the Columbus end. Duncan will play it to the line again. Not out. And oh boy, one of the River Dragons is hurt. I think that's Bersani. He's holding his right foot, trying to get off the ice. Oh no. Well, hopefully he's all right. But he's coming to the bench in obvious pain. Rockers look to go the other way. They'll come up the right side in over the line. Fed on the left wing. Sneath into the corner, a backhand to the front of the net, taken away in the goal crease there. And that'll be moved ahead by Kyle Moore. Moore up the right wing side, tried to feed it in front. Conway there to take the pass away from Hunter. Rockers on the left wing, moving it out to center. Duncan will bank it back. McDonald can't catch up with it. Motor City back in, but Hunter back. Takes it away and out. McDonald pucking his skates, trying to knock it ahead. Got it over the line, but it's turned right back out. Dumped in from center. Layton quickly over to it. McDonald chips it. Left wing. Hunter had it taken away by McGill Diaz. He feeds it to center. Slahetka on it there. He's paired with Parker Layton tonight. Left wing. Hunter into the corner. Trying to get after that McDonald feed. Milam on the far side. Plays it up the wall. Koash can't clear. Kept in by Hunter, wraps it on the near side. Layton, his shot saved, made, and oh boy, it's in the gear there. Babin was looking for it, but he did indeed find it. All right, well, we have five minutes, 20, 5.32 gone here in the first period. And we have a scoreless tie on our hands so far. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more here in a moment. First period is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. We're back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle. And what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. And now back as well on the... YouTube side, and we just have had the uh, scoreboard scorebug crash there. So, let's see if we can re add that for you. It's one of those nights. Puck is right now in the offensive zone. Layton with a shot for the point. That one is tipped to the glass. Petrantonio over after it. And now a chance in front, a shot, and Shakarik had it deflected out of play right in front of the net. Let's see if we can go ahead and get that back on for you. One moment, please. And there we go. All right, everything's good. Face off again in the Motor City Rockers end of things. Tom Callahan here, not only calling it, but producing it tonight because I've got my man Drew Pierce on the camera tonight. Long shot and handled by Babin. That one knocked away to the corner. Up top, here's Jamaev. Jamaev over the left side of Leighton with his shot. That is knocked to the glass. Puck ends up back around on the near side and away from Jamaev it goes. TJ Delaney up with it. Onto the near wing. At center, Colton trying to bump it ahead. Tied up on the near side and Shinkarik back. He'll stop behind his own net. Shinkarik banks it to himself, then gets it ahead to Leighton. Leighton, quick cross ice pass, but it bounced behind Petra Antonio, who just jams it off the dasher, not out. Slaheck has to glove it down and carry it in front of his own net. Now he'll move it ahead. Here comes Slaheck up the left side, rushing it in himself. Wide with a, uh, the wrist shot, saved there by Babin. Puck cleared out to center. 
Store Jahan on it, poked away by Lane King, the former River Dragon. He'll look to move it ahead. Wick line couldn't catch up with it. Bach will bouncing it away to center ice. Columbus moving it in. Store Jahan had it chopped away. Wick line kept it in though. Store Jahan side of the net, looking at it from Wick line in the slot, but he fed it well behind him and all the way down the ice. Columbus will reset here. 7-15 gone in the first. No score. Wickline moving it in left side. There's a shot towards the net blocked by Swan as he couldn't get that through. And now it's sent back out to center. A bouncer to Bockwell. He'll leave it off for Underwood. Underwood back to Swan. Store Jahan. Back to Underwood. Underwood at center. Works his way to the line. Has to dump it in from there. Columbus is going to start a change here. As Babin gloves it down. Leaves it. Vanderwiel reversing over to the right wing side. And now ahead, the Rockers. The rush led in by Fields. He'll leave it on the right wing. Gullo into the slot. A shot. That's ripped wide. Down to the left point. Vanderwiel, his try deflected away in front. Moore tips it ahead. Looking for, oh, McDonald. But it's knocked out of the air by Coash. Otherwise, McDonald was home free. Quickly sent back to McDonald. He'll curl it center. Feed it left side. Duncan ahead to Moore. Moore in over the line. Busting towards the net. Knocked off his stick. Rolls behind. Moore trying to fight for it back behind the goal. Free at the side of the net, taken away by Motor City. And now the Rockers up the other way. They'll dump it in from center. And Colgan made a blocker save there. He'll try to clear it the other way. Puck at the line, not out. Coash is shot, blocked by Duncan. Played off the glass, hit the linesman. Sent right back in, and Colgan will leave it for Anderson. 8.40 gone here in the first. No score between the River Dragons and the Motor City Rockers. Left side is Giuliano. Can't come up with it more. Trying to get it the other way. Bounced out the center. McGill Diaz chasing. And Milam after it. TJ Delaney tips it on right side. It'll be dumped in from there. Colgan behind the net. Backhands it up the near side. Up to the left point. That's kept in by McGill Diaz. Giuliano behind the net. Out the far side. Wraps it in front, but couldn't get it to go. Jamaev after it, far side, he'll reverse it around. Duncan trying to move it up, Giuliano keeping it in. Sweeps it behind the net, centering attempt. Here's a chance, and they score. Svintsov waited Colgan down to the ice and was able to put it past him. Motor City takes a 1-0 lead. Time of the goal, 9-24 for Svintsov. And Motor City. Out to the first marker of the game here. And Columbus doesn't give up the first goal too often. They're going to try to push back in. Here's Wickline in on the left side. It is called the goal. TJ Delaney picks up an assist on it. Right now the River Dragons trying to go to work here. They really haven't gotten much through on Babbitt. Just past the halfway point of the first period, it's 1-0. And Motor City in the lead here on the goal by Svinsov. River Dragons push back in. Quick line. Left side, a bouncing puck. Storjahan wraps it around. Puck right through the crease out the other side. Left point, Slaheka drive and a right pad save there. Now it'll be fed back into the corner, into the slot. Storjahan couldn't get that one to go. It's cleared out all over the head of Slahetka. Bachwill banks it back to center. Wickland trying to come up with it. Store Jahan on to the left side. Slahetka with it there. Dumps it in from the stripe. Miguel Diaz out the left side. Good to see Hunter Bersani back out there taking a shift, but still looks like he's favoring that right skate just a little bit. Back the other way is Bockwell. Bockwell at center. Challenge there. Bouncer goes over to Hunter. Bockwell turns it the other way, but is picked off. Gullo moves in on the right wing. 
He's rubbed out. Goes into the corner now after it. Hooks up Underwood, but Falk will back to help him out. Here's Hunter to center. Add for McDonald. Tipped away from him. And now Moore will fire it in. Around the rim it goes. On to the near side. Dot up on the boards. McDonald, his wrister deflected into the corner. Moore back up top. Wanda McDonald knocked away by Miguel Diaz. Underwood, left side, Bockwell. Bockwell from the point, blocked by Gullo. And now cleared back out to center. 8-18 to go in the first. one nothing. your score, Motor City in the lead. Columbus trying to push back. Hunter, left side. McDonald looking for Hunter again. Hunter back towards McDonald, who picks his stick, walks in front. McDonald curls, looking, puts it towards the net. That one goes wide. Right point held in by Duncan. Around it goes. McDonald behind the net. On the backhand, into the slot. That one knocked away, cleared off the glass and just over the line. Duncan waiting. River Dragons are going to change. Duncan's going to step back in with Petrantonio. Pass bounced over his stick, though. King has to curl back. And Shakira converging on the puck carrier. Miguel Diaz takes it away. Turns it center. Backhand pass left side to Jamaev. Jamaev in over the line. Stops. Waits. Left side. Shinkarik off his skate. Right point. Anderson walks down. Wrist shot. Save. Bab and rebound. Jamaev from his knees. Couldn't get the shot to go and it's cleared out. 7-12 to go in the first. one nothing Motor City. And the Rockers getting a change as the River Dragons regroup in their own end. On the right wing, Columbus pushing it ahead here. Shinkarik in over the line. Shinkarik carries wide. Into the corner, looking up top. Leighton getting there just in time to keep the play alive. Try to fight it down the right side wall. It goes into the corner, push back up. Leighton on it again. He's got traffic, looking for a seam, fanned on the shot. And now follows it all the way to the left wing corner. Motor City will work it back around to the near side. Svintsov looking to move it to center. Six and a half to go in the first. One nothing River Dragons. Dumped in towards Colgan. He's going to cover. And he'll hang on. Rockers with a one nothing lead. We'll take a break and come back with more here in a moment. This Chick-fil-A Midland first period action. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo's zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. As the River Dragons right now trailing 1-0 to the Motor City Rockers in this Chick-fil-A Midland first period of play. And now it's dumped back into the Motor City end as we come back to play here. 6-16 and counting to go in the first period. Bersani up into the corner after it. Bersani on the left side, moving it into the corner to Wickline. Wickline, Bersani up to the left point, Layton. Layton holding on, moves it down to Bersani. Bersani behind the net. Anderson after it, turnaround chance. That would have stopped by Babbitt. Wickline on the left side, try to leave it at the point. It's cleared out. Rockers trying to blow the zone here. Delaney in over the line, wrist shot, and that's blockered away by Colgan. Puck goes back out to center. And now it'll be fed up the right wing side. Gullo will dump it in. 
Cole getting behind the net after it, leaving it off there for Bockwell. Storjahan left side. Kept in by the Rockers, puck in the slot. Koash with a shot, tipped out of play. And into the netting, 5.23 to go here in the first. one nothing your score. Rockers in the lead on a Svinsov goal. When allowing the first goal this year, it's only happened 10 times so far to Columbus. They are 7-2-1. and one. So certainly all is not lost if you're the River Dragons. And you happen to give up that first goal. River Dragons trying to move the puck ahead here. As it's dumped back in, Bockwell watching it. Bounces in over his head. And now centering attempt, Colgan sticks that away. Another centering attempt goes to the right point. Colton with a drive, hit a body in front, ends up with McDonald. McDonald lobbing it ahead, Moore gloves it down. He's in with a shot that is tipped wide to Babin as Colton caught him from behind around the rim to the left side. Kept in McDonald to the near dot. Hunter had a bounce over his stick. Colton swings it around, far side bouncer. McDonald lets go to the left point to Duncan. Duncan right back down the wall. Onto the near side, Colton in the corner. Watched by Hunter, gets it past him, up the dasher. And away come the Rockers. Four and a half to go in the first period. one nothing. your score, Motor City in the lead. Puck is played back the other way and dumped in by Motor City. Colgan rolls it to the line, but not out. There's a shot blocked way up in the air. Now moved out by Duncan to Hunter. River Dragons need a change here. Petrantonio off the right side, moving it in. Petrantonio behind the net, try to feed it in front. Knocked away, and here come the Rockers back up the left side. Svinsov, he'll stop on the wall. Pressured by Petrantonio, puck is out to center. Ends up back at the Rockers' blue line. McGill Diaz going the other way with it, in on the left wing side. McGill Diaz looking to put it in on goal off the tip of the mid of Colgan. Duncan to the far side around the wall, not out of the zone. Kept in right side, a shot missed the net by Gullo. Now off the glass and out. River Dragons clear it. Miguel Diaz will back up at his own line. Giuliano to the right side. And here comes Motor City again. Dumping it in left wing. Svintsov after it. Knocked away. Petrantonio back into the corner. But Svintsov battling. Wrapped up by Anderson. Duncan up the far glass. Bounces it out. No icing here as Vanderweel catches the roller at the hash marks. Vanderweel quickly back with speed. Right side leaves it off for T.J. Delaney. Back to Vanderweel in the corner. Centering feed never got through. Duncan Adam tied up. Storjahan over after it. And now Columbus able to skate it out. Led by Layton up the right side. He'll stop, look up top, try to slide it down low. That one didn't get through. Bersani on the right wing. And now out to center Giuliano. He'll dump it in. Slahetka back after it. Slahetka tried to battle his way free. Leaves it for Bersani on the left side. Storjahan up to center. He'll move in over the line. Storjahan tried to leave it back. Trouble with it. Carries it behind. Centering feed right up the slot, but picked off by Motor City. And now Koash breaks up the right wing the other way. Has Smith with him. Koash is shot wide of the net. Stick side. Wraps its way all the way back to center. 2-12 to go in the first. one nothing Motor City. Bersani tying it up on the far side. Wickline in there as well. Storjahan. Boy, the pile continues over there. Storjahan trying to move it ahead. Cleared back the other way. King on the left wing side. They'll feed it back into the defensive zone. River Dragons trying to get to a change here. McDonald, Moore, Hunter back out up front. Puck turned over at the line by King, ahead to Hunter. Hunter's up on the right side, trying to drive wide. Ryan Hunter, off-angle chance, bab of the save, caught him in the side of the melon. Around towards the right point, Underwood steps up, can't keep it in. Bockwell ends up with it at center, fires it back in, right side corner. McDonald up, putting pressure on with the forecheck. Moore supporting on the wall, puck to the point. Underwood, his shot in on goal, bab and the save. And he'll hang on with a 1.16 to go. Here in period number one, it remains 1-0 on a Svinsov marker. Motor City in the lead. We'll be right back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey.
Hi, I'm Jade. And a I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Back here, Big Boy Arena, 1-0, Motor City in the lead with 1.16 to go in the first. Face off down to the left of Babbitt, McDonald in for the draw. Looking over his shoulder here. Trying to back up Bockwell just a little bit. Face off down, River Dragons control and slot more with a shot. He had a rolling puck and he hooked it high. McDonald fights back for it though on the left wing all the way up top to the blue line with it. He'll backhand it around the rim. Giuliano on the far side under a minute to go in the period. Puck to the point. Underwood holding it in. Left wing side Hunter in the left wing corner looking into the slot. McDonald quick shot and a glove save Babin. Babin Johnny on the spot for that one. Was able to grab that very quickly. Face off is kept in by the River Dragons. Petrantonio with a shot. That one deflects way up in the air. Now comes down and out of the zone. Here come the Rockers in with a shot. And that one is tipped away. Ends up cleared right back out to center. McGill Diaz tried to move it ahead. Puck ends up at center. Anderson will sweep it over. Duncan on the left side. Shinkarik after it. Anderson. On the left wing, Petrantonio deflects it back in. 18 seconds to go in the period. Miguel Diaz behind the net. Playing it up the near side. Motor City just looking to get it out of the zone they do to center. Rockers back in on the right wing. Shot by Koash out of play with 5.9 seconds left to go in the period. Face off will be to the left of Brennan Colgan. McDonald will go out with Bersani and Wickline here just to ensure that there's a couple of centers out there capable of taking the draw. McDonald, quick word with Slahetka. He steps in now for this face off. And he wins it back. Colgan actually plays it away to Layton. Around to the near side. A centering attempt deflected away. Shot at the buzzer is blocked by Bersani. And that's the way we're going to go into the locker room. The Motor City Rockers carrying a 1-0 lead into the first intermission. Svensov the only goal of the frame. And we're going to step aside, take a break. When we come back, we will chat a little bit more about tonight's first period of action. And Columbus... Right now, still in a situation this evening, and uh, of course we're going to be doing some scoreboard watching, but in a situation where if they win in regulation, they will end up with the Continental Division title. But we have a lot of hockey to get to before that. And so we will talk about the scoring ramp from the first period, plus a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo Zippin. Stay tuned, there's plenty more coming your way in just a moment. And this is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. 
There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo's zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Back here on Columbus River Dragons Hockey, Tom Callahan here with you. First period intermission report. And we are excited to uh, get a little closer to the playoffs. Certainly, River Dragons fans, did you know that right now you can pick up your seven-game playoff packages only through the River Dragons office? Give us a call today, 706-507-4625. That's 706-507-4625. Or you can visit us during normal business hours. Single game seats are not on sale yet. Those will not go on sale until early April. But the River Dragons are selling the complete seven game slate of playoff packages. And why seven games? Well, that's because if the River Dragons go the maximum number of series and go all the way in all of those series, they could play up to a max of seven home games. So that's why the tickets are sold in a seven game package. Yes, there are refunds available with certain packages. There are credit rollovers with other packages. If you're a season ticket holder and that's a more interesting choice to you, go ahead and give us a call. We can explain it all to you. Plus, go online to rdragons.com for more information as well. But those playoff packs on sale right now. Single game seats won't go on sale for a little while yet. So if you want to lock in your same great seats or maybe you're looking with an eye towards season tickets for next year, why not give them a test run in the playoffs? You can get that same great playoff seat for all seven and then just roll any unplayed games, the money from any unplayed games, into your next year's season tickets. It's already money in the bank for you. And uh, you know what? It'll be a little less out of your wallet come the fall when you want to enjoy River Dragons hockey once again in October. All right, let's take a look at the scoring wrap from period number one. Only one goal to tell you about, and it belonged to the Motor City Rockers. Svinsov, his ninth of the year from T.J. Delaney and Giuliano, and uh, just a patient goal. Svinsov got the puck in the slot, 
weighted Colgan down to the ice and pulled it to the goaltender's stick side as he made a diving effort to his right. But Svinchov found the twine for his ninth at 9.24, and it's one of the Motor City. That is the only thing that happened in that first period because, well, that was the goal. There were no power plays on either side, a clean sheet in the period for both sides. And then shots were 10-4, to 4, believe it or not, in favor of Columbus. Now, I don't really know if I think that's very indicative of what it actually was. Uh, I felt like Motor City had a better period than that. And I think Columbus did get some chances, especially a little bit towards the end, but I think Motor City probably had more than four shots in that period. Uh, but, I mean, that's what the count is right now. I don't think that'll be adjusted much, but really the count that matters is on the score sheet. Shots, no shots, doesn't matter. you got to put the puck in the net. So it's one nothing after one. We're going to take a break here in this first period intermission brought to you by Sun South John Deere equipment for those that do and when we come back we've got a uh, quite the out of town scoreboard to get to because we have FPHL hockey NHL hockey men's college hoops we're creeping towards that uh, final four and of course Major League Baseball getting it underway here this week and so that's also an exciting time if you're a baseball fan we'll talk about all that and more when we come back one nothing after one motor city in the lead this is river dragons hockey here he comes boys sure is beautiful here it is boys who's ready to put it to work me there's only one way to settle this <laughs> Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Let's go! Set the tone. Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs> And we are back here in the first period intermission report brought to you by Sun South John Deere. one nothing. The Motor City Rockers lead the Columbus River Dragons. And it's time for us to take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. For the River Dragons, the scoreboard watching is on to see what happens with Binghamton and Port Huron. And so far, it's good news. 2-0, Port Huron leading Binghamton early in the second period of that game. That could be interesting because if the River Dragons happen to pick up three points in regulation tonight, 
and tomorrow night. And for whatever reason, Binghamton fails to win any game in regulation, meaning they go to overtime. That could make up the seven-point gap needed to clinch the FPHL title this weekend. And right now, the Port Huron Prowlers trying to help the River Dragons out here by beating Binghamton tonight. They're up 2-0 right now, about four minutes into the second period. Still plenty of hockey to be played there. At Danbury Arena, the Hattricks with a 1-0 lead over the Watertown Wolves, and they are just about to head off into the first period intermission. 1-0 Carolina leads the Blue Ridge Bobcats after one period of play. And starting up here at the bottom of the hour, you'll have the Mississippi Seawolves at the Baton Rouge Zynaco. NHL only one game tonight, and right now it is the Devils 2-1 up over the Buffalo Sabres. And that game being played in Buffalo tonight. Max Willman and Jesper Bratt for the Devils. Tage Thompson, his 23rd unassisted for the Sabres in the second period, just 28 seconds into the frame. Men's college hoops at the half right now. How about number 11, NC State? 37-24 over number two, Marquette. That is an upset in the making right there if Marquette doesn't come back in the second half. Elsewhere, in the first half, about six minutes left to go. Number one, Purdue trails number five, Gonzaga, by a point, 29-28. At 9.39 tonight, number four, Duke, and number one, Houston tip off. And then at 10.09, number three, Creighton, and number two, Tennessee will also tip it off. Boy, we'll be keeping an eye on that NC State Marquette game. Major League Baseball, day two of the regular season. Right now, the Tampa Bay Rays 5-1 up on the Blue Jays, bottom of the fifth inning. 4-0 Pirates over the Marlins, bottom of the third. Yankees and Astros scoreless in the top of the first. Rockies at Diamondbacks, Guardians at Athletics, Red Sox at Mariners, Giants at Padres, Cardinals at Dodgers, all coming up later. Couple of finals from earlier today, and they were both makeup games from weather delays yesterday. Brewers 3-1 over the Mets, and the Braves 9-3 over the Phillies. So that's it for our out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In here. It's one of the Motor City in the lead. And uh, I think the Rockers did a nice job for the most part of bottling up the River Dragons. There were no real grade-A chances for the River Dragons in that first period at all. And I think that that's something Columbus is going to have to work to generate a few more of those. Also, no power plays in the period. Could have been maybe one or two doled out, but there weren't. Um, and that's fair enough, letting them play in the first period. So we'll see if the River Dragons are going to be able to perhaps bring a little bit more here in the second, uh, get the energy level up. And, you know, a lot of times when you're drawing those hooking and holding calls, it's because of your effort and the defense or even the back-checking forwards on the other side just don't keep up. And so instead of moving their feet, they use their arms to try to impede you. That's when you draw those penalties. And a lot of times, if you're using your speed to the outside, busting around those guys, that's when you get those calls. And I think that's exactly what the River Dragons are going to try to accomplish here in period number two. So stay tuned. There's plenty more hockey coming your way here. But it's one nothing Motor City after one period of play here at Big Boy Arena in Frazier, Michigan. We'll be back with the second period on the other side of this. So stay tuned. We're right back with more. This is River Dragons Hockey. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. 
Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys, who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Back here on Columbus River Dragons Hockey, Tom Callahan here with you, getting ready to start period number two. And Columbus head to head with the Motor City Rockers here tonight. The second period of River Dragons Hockey is brought to you by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Face off coming up here at center. River Dragons rolling right to left. Wearing the white road jerseys with the black name bars and the black numbers outlined in red. Black patch on the shoulder outlined in teal and the black, red and teal stripes at the elbows. Black pants, white socks and the stripes on the socks, same as on the jersey. Black then red then teal top to bottom. Rockers in the black home jerseys tonight, not the purple. We're underway five on five as we have been the entire game so far. Conway turns the puck the other way but gave it up. Here's Hunter quickly in, quick wrist shot, deflected away, bounced. Right back to Hunter off the end wall. Hunter on the right side. Up top pass, Bockwell and Moore went right between them and out of the zone. Down it goes to Brandon Colgan. Colgan will play it away up the near side glass. Kept in on the right wing side. And that one fed around. King can't catch up with it. Here's McDonald. Fires it out to center. Bounce past Milam. And after it is Hunter. Babbitt's going to come way out to play it. Right back up the near side. And it ends up in the River Dragons bench. We get a whistle. 38 seconds into the period here. 1-0. Motor City in the lead. Shinkarik there for the draw, but it's pushed ahead by Motor City. Gullo will dump it in. Slahetka around after it'll play it around the far side. Petra Antonio. His pass to center is knocked down by a high stick, but Jamea will move it ahead. Again, Babbitt out to play. It flings it around the near side glass, and it does come out to center pass. Leighton Slahetka pursued back into his own zone, hooked up by Smith. Conway in with a shot, and that one goes out of play. And the faceoff will stay in the River Dragons. M105 into the second period. 1 0 your score. Svensov, the goal for the Rockers, and they have the lead here. So Tom Callahan here with you tonight, calling the game. I'm doing the production. My normally intrepid producer, Drew Pierce, is my intrepid cameraman, Drew Pierce, tonight. So props to Drew for jumping in, running the camera. 
and then I'm uh, I'm juggling tonight. So it's interesting, but it's fun. You know, it's another story for the book. That's the way I look at it. Dump back into the Motor City end of things here tonight. Although if you do hear the occasional pause and you're like, Tom, are you there? Are you breathing? Are you alive? I am. I'm probably just checking something maybe on the YouTube feed or I'm, I'm looking over at something, making sure commercials are loaded, that kind of thing. So don't worry. I'm not, uh, I'm not just kind of losing my mind, although sometimes I feel like I am. But well, here we are. Second period action, minute and a half in. Driving into the right wing side. Here comes Motor City in with a shot. Colgan, a left pad save there. Rebound goes behind the net. On the left wing, Giuliano challenge. Put it into the corner. Got it back towards the front of the net. And now put up to the right point. Vanderweel walks into the slot. He scores. Danny Vanderweel walks down the slot and puts that one home over the right shoulder of Colgan. And it's 2-0, Motor City. Just a minute and 50 seconds into the period. Vanderweel. Doubles that Motor City lead. Face off at center is move back Duncan. Anderson on the right side, tipped ahead. And Milam will bank it off the right side. Boards pushed ahead on the right wing. It's dumped towards the net wide of the River Dragons net. But Motor City clearly with the momentum right now. They keep it in at the point. Anderson tied up, trying to bounce it out of there. He does. Columbus has not really hit high gear yet in this game. King back in on the left side for the Rockers, looking across the ice to Milam. Milam's got room, walks in, wrist shot. That one is knocked away in front. And now Wickland the other way, Storjahan. He'll skate it ahead. Storjahan in over the line, chips into space, wanted Bersani, but he was tied up. Bersani near corner, slides it around to the left point. Duncan holding on, now sends it back down. Around it goes. Nobody was on the right side. On the far wall, Koash gets run into by Wickline. Puck stays in. Wickline driving across, but he lost it. Now it's deflected away. Ends up right side with Bersani. Bersani into the corner for Storjahan. Storjahan on the right wing, sending it around behind. Looking for more as the River Dragons changing more centers. Tipped away in front. Ends up sent right back around the near side wall. Bersani had to avoid it. And down it goes. Colgan will stop. In behind the net. Leave it for Duncan. Quick lead pass the other way. McDonald tips it down. No icing. Poked away. McDonald onto the right side. Here's Moore trying to walk in front. Knocked off his stick. Koash back the right side. Tried to drive wide. Hops around Bockwell. Underwood after it. Flips it right back up the near boards. Puck to the line. Not out. Tip. Ooh, dangerous tip in front. Just missed the post. Moore the other way. Flips it high in the air. And he gets knocked down. And a penalty coming up. Gullo. Moore is still down, and now that draws a pile. Underwood pinned Gullo against the boards, and Moore trying to get back in there. The initial penalty was coming up against Gullo, and the River Dragons need this power play. They cannot even it up here. Hopefully they don't. Gullo into the box. Tripping is the call. First power play of the game for either side. And it comes at 349 of period number two. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry about that, folks. I missed my mute button. Draw will come up to the left of Babin. Wick line in for this face-off here. Columbus on to the loft power play. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub at the loft for two-for-one cover. Only at the loft in downtown Columbus. River Dragons hold it in up top as they go to work. Slahetka, left point up top. Middle of the blue line, she carried. Right side, Wick line a shot, and that hit a body in front. Ends up on the near wall. 
Left point, Shinkarik. Back down, Slahetka. Slahetka in front off a skate, across, they score! Alexander Jamea puts it away from the far dot. As Jamea takes advantage of the bounce right onto the tape. A quick power play goal by the River Dragons, and they're back within one. It's a 2-1 Motor City lead. Four eleven time of the goal. For Jamaif, that's his 29th goal of the season as he approaches the 30 goal plateau. And right off the face off, it'll be dumped back in by Motor City as they try to go back to the attack. And now Columbus back in, Leighton in with a shot and a glove saved by Babin. As Leighton tried to go high glove. Parker Leighton showing the speed. And a really nice shot attempt. Quick line and Hunter the assists. Face off will be to the left. Of the... Motor City goal. McDonald trying to win it back. Moore couldn't get a shot away. And now the Rockers the other way as they'll dump it in. And they get a whistle there. Four thirty nine into the second period. That one might have gone off the glass into the netting. I think that's what happened there. McDonald will step in for this face off. In across from Giuliano. Clayton and Slahetka on the points. Moore and Hunter on the wings here. Columbus back within a goal. It's 2-1. Jamaif on the power play here in the second. It's a chance in front. That is blocked up top. McGill Diaz a shot and he scores. Colgan gets beat high blocker again. That's the second goal in a virtually identical spot on a shot from a defenseman this period. Four fifty time of the goal. Boy, Columbus is really going to have to do a better job fronting those shots. So Columbus. Now back down by a pair after the power play goal, but a quick response, McGill Diaz, 39 seconds later. And the puck poked towards the point. Fields will keep it in on the right side. Gullo across Fields through traffic. Kicked away by Colgan in front on the left side. Here's Anderson, puck not out. Centering attempt, that hit the referee. Oh boy, he's struggling after that one. Trying to skate it off, Fields keeps it at the right point. Shot in on goal, save made, rebound paddled away, and that one down the ice. Bersani could not keep the puck in, touches it up. That's an offside call. And that's going to get us to a break. 5.37 into the second period. We'll be right back with more in just a moment. It is 3-1 Motor City in the lead over the Columbus River Dragons here in this WOW Internet second period. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow.
Back here on River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you. 537 into the second period. 3-1 your score. Faceoff coming up just outside the Motor City blue line. Driven in by Duncan. Oh, tipped right in on goal. And Babbitt had to make a save on that. Conway looking to move it away towards Sneath. Sneath out to center. And that one offside at the line. That offside is brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber. S-H-O-P-P-E dot com. Book your next appointment online anytime, 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook as well. Are your sides a little off? Get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. And by the way, reservations highly recommended. Columbus on and Anderson will play it across. Here's Duncan looking to move that one up. Jamaev will tip it on in. Jamaev has the goal for the River Dragons here in this one. A power play marker. There's a centering feed. That one bounced off a D. Ends up behind the net. Around to the right point. Anderson up top of the shot. That one wide. Babbitt has lost his goal stick. There's a chance in. Babbitt hugging the post. Save. And he holds on to the puck. After Antonio right there at the post. Looking for the rebound. Six seventeen into the second period. Columbus, McDonald, Moore, Hunter, Underwood, and Bockwell back out there. Draw to the right of Babbitt. McDonald trying to go ahead with the draw. He was knocked down. Now Delaney the other way on the right side. Pushing wide. He shouldered off as Bockwell put a big hit on him on the wall. It allows Underwood to get it back out to center. Columbus tried to turn it, but it's turned back in by Milam. Bockwell on it, feeds it up the far side. Moore tipping on to McDonald. He's got Hunter with him. Gives it to him on the left side. Hunter off his skates at the line, and it knocked back over the blue line. Giuliano carries it back in, gave it up to McDonald. McDonald will fling it around. In behind the net, Moore, Hunter up top. McDonald, a shot blocked off a leg. Left point, Bockwell holding it in. His try, banked down low, and it's stopped by the D, and now bounced out of the zone. Underwood chasing down the ice. They see no icing. Everybody on the River Dragons thought that that was an icing. It was not. They waved it off. Not sure why. McGill Diaz left side corner. And it's played away out to center. Underwood at center. Oh, he gave it right to Koash. Koash up the left side, moving in through the skates, carrying wide. A shot save. Colgan rebound. Colgan the save. Big left pad stopped by Colgan. Back the other way. Here comes Hunter. Curling in over the line and then curling back out. Oh, and now turned over again, but knocked away. And Colgan is able to turn that one back up the near side. That was a huge save by Brendan Colgan. And now an icing against the River Dragons. But boy, right now, Motor City just taking it to Columbus. I'll tell you what, credit the Rockers, because they too have a lot to fight for in this playoff race. And the River Dragons have to realize that there is no easy night all season long. This team has had a bullseye on its back. Columbus is missing a fifth guy right now. Alex Storjahan heading out there. Face off to the right of Colgan. And conspicuous by his absence right now is Hunter Bersani. Not sure if Bersani, there's a shot whipped wide on the stick side there. Sneath letting it go. But Bersani had been hobbled by a little bit of an injury in the first period. He uh, was kind of favoring his right foot. Chance down low. There's a shot. Colgan out on the angle to make the save and a chance in tight. But Bersani not out there now. So we'll try to see if we see him on the bench here. Although I uh, can't really see much of the bench. No, we'll see if he does return. He did return earlier in the period, but I haven't seen him in a little while. Puck sent down the ice. Will it be another icing? No, Babin out to play it. Here comes Sequoia Swan up on the forecheck. Played away from him, back up the near side. At center, Slahetka kicks it free to Swan. Swan turning back in on the line. Feeds a chance over Storjahan. Forced it in on goal. Save there. Babin rebounds. Storjahan slot. Swan, quick shot, and that's fronted by Fields. 
Motor City has done exactly what Columbus needs to do, and they just keep putting shin pads in the way of pucks. The inning picking up here. Swan running into his man behind the net. And now it's cleared to center. Delaney chopped at by Duncan. Vanderweel up on the right side. Driving wide. Vanderweel in. And a big pile collision behind the net. Play continues. And that looks like Duncan was hurt on the play. But Vanderweel wants a piece of Duncan. But Duncan was hurt. Duncan's trying to get out of there. He looks like something happened to his shoulder. And Duncan's going to come off the ice. So they're going to have to put someone else in the box for Duncan, but boy, that's not good. Duncan was getting a call for boarding. Moore is going to serve it. Nine oh six. Time of the penalty. First power play of the game for the Rockers. So it'll be Kyle Moore who sits in that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Or will it? Well, Bersani's back out there, so good to see him back out there. Face off to the right of Colgan. So Duncan has gone to the room. And the face off goes back up top for the Rockers onto the right side for King. King up top, Colton over to the far side. Back across, Colton in front, tipped away by Bersani. Koash on the left side, around to the left point to Colton. Koash, Koash cutting to his right, King. Right half wall, King. Koash up top. Rister through traffic found the glass. Boy, Colgan never saw that coming. Played to the line, kept in by Koash. And it's cleared out by Columbus. Now McDonald up after the puck. McDonald on the wing looking to feed it in front. Gets it across, but unable to get a shot off of Bersani. He plays it to Leighton, who puts it back down the glass. Now McDonald in front of Bersani, who's cleaned out in front of the net. No penalty coming. And now back the other way. Here comes Colton. Bersani is still down on the ice. They finally get a whistle. Bersani is down. 9.53 to go in the second. Exactly one minute to go in the power play for the Rockers. We'll take a break and come back with more in just a moment. Rough night for Hunter Bersani continues. 3-1. Rockers up on the River Dragons. Back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons. Hot. River Dragons. Hot. River Dragons. Hot. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Into the locker room. So Hunter Bersani off. Brody Duncan off. One minute to go in Duncan's minor. 9.53 to go here in the second period. Boy, it's been a rough night for the River Dragons. The faceoff will be in the Columbus end.
Bockwell, Underwood, Swan, and Petrantonio out to try to help kill off this last minute of shorthanded time. 9.53 to go in the second. Draw to the right of Colgan. Petrantonio having long conversations with referees here, but I don't know if it's going to help out at all. River Dragons win the draw back. Bockwell up to the left point. Milam challenged by Petrantonio, and the puck is knocked out to center. Here's Giuliano in over the line, onto the left side. Puck put up top. Milam tees up a drive, and that one hit traffic in front. Ends up in the far corner. Petrantonio into the pile. Giuliano after it. Ends up around the rim. Right wing. Kept into the point by Miguel Diaz. Rockers get it up top. Milam over to the far side. 24 seconds to go on the power play. 9.15 to go in the second. 3-1 Motor City in the lead. Puck across to T.J. Delaney into the slot. Pinball's loose and is cleared out by Columbus. Five seconds until Moore is out of the box. Under nine to go now in the second period. Milam on to the left side. Sneath feeds it down low. Moore's out of the box. We're back to five on five hockey. Puck on the near side, here's King backing up at the blue line, looking for a seam, doesn't have one. Feeds it across to Sneath, he fires it in. Save Colgan, rebound to the corner, King on it. Cross ice feed, and that one is knocked away in front of the net. Conway was parked on the doorstep. Now a backhand try, hit Underwood. He'll jam it down the ice. No icing here as Babin comes out to play it. Columbus can get to the change. 8.23 to go in the period. McDonald up on the right side, had it knocked away, goes back for it. McDonald up top. To the left point, Slahetka. Slahetka in. Backdoor feed, and that one just failed to connect with Moore. Here's McDonald on the right side. Into the corner to Moore. Behind the net to Hunter. Moore steps around, banks it. Left point, Slahetka. Over to the right side, quickly gets it over. Anderson, Anderson into the slot, cutting. Hunter onto the left wing. Slahetka, his shot. Oh, boy. Hit a body in front. Babin had a huge screen in front of him. And now the puck away, Gullo. To center, Slahetka racing after the rolling puck. Runs into Gullo, but Gullo continues on with the puck. Shot from the wing, handled by Colgan. Anderson turns it quickly up the left side. And here's Ryan Hunter in over the line. Hunter cutting into the slot. Cross ice feed tipped away. Now stepping up with it is Smith. Smith in over the blue line. onto the right wing side. Hooked off by Hunter. And Underwood back for the puck. 7.22 to go in the second. 3-1 your score. Dumped down into the Motor City end. Shinkarik beats out the icing. Puck on the left wing side now tied up by the River Dragons. Clear to the line, but not out. Underwood holding it in the backhand. Now another chance to clear. Motor City does get it out of the zone. No icing the other way. Down it goes. Bockwell after it. Seven to go in the second. 3-1. Rockers in the lead. Tied up on the right side of the Motor City zone. Or pardon me, the uh, Columbus zone. River Dragons move it out. Left side feed. Too far store. Jahan's got to chase it into the corner. In against McGill Diaz. Curling back up on the left side. Tied up in the corner. And the puck cleared to center. Now Bockle has to feed it over to Anderson. Anderson will send it back in. Wick line. Left side. Keeps it deep. Store Jahan. Had it taken away by Giuliano. Giuliano able to play it away. King up the left side. He'll flip it ahead. Duncan chasing. And Anderson back. Looking ahead for Storjahan. Up with Shinkarik. Into the left side. Shinkarik tried to center. And now Motor City the other way. Koash onto the left wing. Puck dumped in. And it ends up behind the net. Duncan. Trying to play it along. Koash stole it away. Koash looking into the slot. Challenged by Shinkarik. Now Duncan knocks his man down. Good to see Brody Duncan back out there. His one arm just checked down to the ice. Storjahan ahead. Look over Petra Antonio. Turn back up by McGill Diaz. His pass at center picked off by Bersani. Knocked away. Bersani also back out on the ice. Left side here's Slaheka knocked down, carries on left side. Back about a skates, big hit there by Swan finishing his check. It's starting to pick up physically here. 
Icing back the other way as Leighton back for the touch. 5.15 to go in the second. 3-1 your score. Motor City in the lead. Face off will be back to the right of Babin. McDonald, Hunter, and Moore out there, along with Slahetka and Layton. It's pushed to the line, not out. Slahetka shot, and the pad save Babin. Moore, Layton up top, lets one go, and that one is tipped into the corner. McDonald centered, ends up with more high slot. Moore, shot, save Babin, rebound, goes right between Hunter and McDonald. Cleared off the glass, out to center. Leighton will leave it off to McDonald. McDonald has to wait while Moore gets out of the zone. On the right side, here's Hunter. Hunter steps in, try to backhand it across. Moore hooked up, couldn't get to it. Now it's cleared out. Slahet will chase. He'll turn back quickly. Motor City wanted a change here. River Dragons push right back in. McDonald on the right side. Cross ice. Slaheka into the slob, but the puck was in the air, and Hunter couldn't knock it down. Around to the left side it comes. Slaheka will keep it in. He was trying to head off the ice. Has to fling it across to the right side. Leighton, his shot was blocked. And now a stretch pass ahead, and it bounces past King. Thankfully, it would have had a breakaway. Played back around to Hunter. Back up the right side. Here comes Ryan Hunter in over the line with speed, leaving McDonald in the high slot, cutting across. Wrist shot, Babin blocker, save, rebound behind the net. And now around McDonald. McDonald centers. Bockwell, his shot. That one missed. McDonald up top with it, leaving it off on the right side. Underwood lets it go in a glove save, Babin. Motor City continues to just get in the way of pucks. Columbus struggling to get shots through. Hopefully for the River Dragons, they're going to be able to do a little bit more of that here on the other side of this break. As we are down to 3.57 to go here in the second period. We're back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. my ex lemon lime soda you're looking well i just needed something more refreshing more crisp i'm a starry now this is intense he's so vulnerable but i love you please ah oh, buddy it'll be okay or not huh starry does taste better <laughs>
My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change.
Sorry about that, everybody. Apparently, we didn't have the sound on the YouTube side. Tom's driving tonight, both on the radio and the video side. I'm, I'm doing the producing while Drew is on camera, so uh, that's on me. But hopefully you got to see everything crazy that was going on there the last couple of minutes. You're now with 13.5 seconds to go off that faceoff. Do we have a penalty call? And I'll be honest with you, I don't know because I was fixing the YouTube feed. So trying to figure out what's going on here. Yep, going to be a penalty against Columbus because the faceoff's coming back into the River Dragon's end. Storjahan's going over to the box. Petrantonio is uh, over there again pleading his case. So time of the penalty is... 1946. So Storjahan gets two minutes for closing his hand over the puck. Face off will be to the right of the River Dragons goal. And the draw one back by the Rockers over to McGill Diaz. McGill Diaz feeds it to the far side. There's a look by Delaney. Shot save Colgan. Rebound set right up the slot. Order City's going to run out of time. And now he gets slashing at the horn. Swan's going to throw punches at McGill Diaz after he got cross checked by McGill Diaz. This one's going to get feisty. But it really should. And now Babbins yakking with Bersani. Milam comes over to get Babbin out of there. Babbin's turning around. He's got more than he wants to say. But, well, that's good. Get Trevor Babbin talking. Let him start thinking a little bit. Because he hasn't had to think at all in this game. Quite honestly, Columbus, they've had some shifts. They did maybe the last couple of minutes of that period. Had some good shifts, but for the most part, Motor City has been the better hockey team tonight, and it's frustrating the River Dragons. Columbus needs to be better. 3-1 your score. We're going to move on into our second period intermission report, which is brought to you by Shredaway. And they're still talking it over over there with the uh, at the referee with the scorer's table, so we'll see if they're going to put anything else up there here at the end of the period, but I'll tell you what, both coaches not very happy. A lot of players not very happy with uh, the way the game's being called tonight. And both sides have their arguments. So we'll fill you in when we come back here. We'll wrap up the scoring. We'll also look at the out-of-town scoreboard. Come on back and join us. More coming your way here in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, 
Our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Shh, shh, shh. Brum, dum, dum. Get low. Get low. Get low. Three, six, nine. Ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. To the window. To the window. To the wild. To the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. into this one. It's a 3-1 lead for the Motor City Rockers. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining me as the River Dragons and the Rockers head-to-head -head here tonight. Not only are we doing scoreboard watching, but right now the River Dragons, none of that matters if Columbus doesn't pull this one out. And for Columbus to be trailing by a 3-1 score heading into period number three, well, certainly not an insurmountable obstacle. The River Dragons have indeed climbed out of bigger holes before, and they have certainly dropped several goals in a period before. And Columbus is a team that uh, the most they've scored in a period, in case you're curious, and I know you are, is six. And that was back on February 16th against Baton Rouge. However, they've scored four in the third period, four times, three times have they scored four goals. And they've scored three goals in a period three times. So, not out of the question. Columbus is certainly possible of the uh, offensive explosions. I will tell you this, though. Number one, no one has shut out Columbus this year, and that will not happen again tonight. But number two, only Carolina has held the River Dragons to one goal in a game. And that was on November 24th. So, it's just not something that happens very often. The River Dragons uh, offense is always dangerous, always potentially ready to break through. So I'm certainly not ready to say with 20 minutes left to go in this one that uh, this is where we're going. But I will say it's getting interesting out there. Both coaches and a lot of the players seem to be unhappy with the way the game is being called right now. And uh, there's, uh, I believe, some penalties that came in here at the end. Let me get a refresh on our score sheet here to tell you because there was... One that came down, and actually only one that came down, and that was McGill Diaz, who ended up with slashing. Uh, could have actually been cross-checking, but either way, slashing, cross-checking. That's what we end up with here. So he gets two, and that was right at the 20-minute mark. So what that's going to do is then put us into a four-on-four -four situation, and then a very, very, very brief River Dragons, uh, the loft power play. They are one for one in the power play, but you know, Columbus is only going to have about 13 seconds of power play time. Not that they couldn't do something in that 13 seconds. Certainly possible, but take a little bit of luck, I think. And the puck being in the right place at the right time when Storjahan comes out of the box in period number three. So it's 3-1 right now. Scoring summary from that second period. Just 150 into the frame. Danny Vanderwill gets Motor City on top of the time. 2-0. Assist going to Svinsov and Giuliano. They both have two point nights going as well. Goal and an assist for Svinsov. And Giuliano with two assists. 
But then the River Dragons did get one back on the power play. Alexander Jameyev from Wickline and Hunter, a power play goal with 4-11. And that made it a 2-1 game. But Miguel Diaz would score on an almost identical shot to Vanderweels at 4-50, coming just 39 seconds later. Miguel Diaz in the high slot with a wrist shot that beats Colgan high over the blocker side. And the assists going to Svintsov and TJ Delaney. And now TJ Delaney has a two-point night. Svintsov has a three-point night. And so that caps our scoring summary at 3-1. Shots in the period 14-11 in favor of Motor City. Power plays, the River Dragons finish one for one with the man advantage in that period. And Motor City will now end 0 for 2 in that period since the penalty at the end of the second negates the remainder of their power play time. But four on four to open the period, I would think the River Dragons might like that because Motor City has done a heck of a job of clogging up the ice. And I think four on four is a great way for Columbus to get a little bit more room for their skaters out there, maybe a chance to do a little bit extra and uh, really make something happen. They do have to be aware defensively though because Motor City absolutely is a team that can uh, break back and transition very quickly and stick the puck in the net. So Columbus uh, needs to attack and just make sure that they're rotating well. If a defender goes down low, a forward's got to cover. They just need to make sure they are using that movement wisely in the offensive zone. But I do think four on four to start the period definitely will favor the River Dragons. All right, let's take a break here in the Shredaway second period intermission report. And when we come back, we'll have that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard on tap for you. Stay tuned, there's more coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Ah! Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win a Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85, exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you. Time to take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passion since 1999. At McMoran Arena, just down the road from here, an hour away, the Port Huron Prowlers still with a 2-0 lead over the Binghamton Black Bears. That is four minutes into the third period of that game. 
at Danbury Arena. The Hattricks 3-0 leading the Watertown Wolves here and that game is late in the second period. Blue Ridge trailing Carolina 4-0 now at the end of the second period. And after one period at the Raisin Canes River Center in Baton Rouge, the Zynico trailing the Mississippi Sea Wolves 2-0. Only game in the NHL tonight, Devils and Sabres, they are tied up at two. Willman and Bratt for the Devils in the first. Thompson with a pair, his 23rd and 24th in the second period for the Sabres. Men's basketball going on right now. Upset watch, number 11 NC State, 60 to 52, leading number two Marquette. 208 to go in the second half there. And with nine minutes to go in the second half, number one Purdue leads number five Gonzaga, 67-53. At 9.39, number four Duke and number one Houston tip off and a 10.09 tip for number three Creighton and number two Tennessee. Major League Baseball going on right now. Blue Jays trail the Rays 8-1 top of the ninth. Pirates lead the Marlins 5-1 top of the seventh. Astros 1-0 over the Yankees top of the fourth. Later games, Rockies at D-backs, Guardians at Athletics, Red Sox at Mariners. Giants at Padres, Cardinals at Dodgers. And earlier today, a couple of makeup games from yesterday. 3-1 Brewers top the Mets and 9-3 the Braves over the Phillies. That's it for our out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo Zippin. River Dragons right now trailing Motor City 3-1, but because of the slashing minor to McGill Diaz at the end of the period, it will be four on four to start things off for a minute 47 seconds, then a 13 second to loft power play for the River Dragons on the other side. All right, we'll be back with third period action in just a moment. Stay tuned, more coming your way on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? with a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bun. You're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do.
And we're back on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you. Third period brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. 3-1 your score, Rockers, right now leading. And the River Dragons, well, they've got their work cut out for them here in period number three. So it's going to be four on four to start things off here in the third period. 3-1 your score. Motor City in the lead. Stor Jahan in the box for the next minute, 47 seconds. And then McGill Diaz in there, picked up a call at the end of the frame there. Two minutes for slashing. And so four on four, we're going to start the period as the River Dragons rolling left to right in front of the broadcast location. And again, a lot of ice out there. Ryan Hunter moves in on the left side. In over the line, leaves it up top to Underwood. Underwood, his wrist shot and a glove save. Babin to start things off here in the third. Draw coming up to the right of Babin. Nope, left side. McDonald, Hunter, Bockwell, Underwood. And one back quick shot. Underwood and Babbins got it in the gear. Underwood got absolutely all of that one. Face off will stay to the left of the Motor City cage. One thirty-one to go on the four on four. 17 seconds into the third. McDonald right side into the slot, wanted Hunter, knocked away from him, but McDonald holds it in up top to Underwood. Back to Bockwill, he steers it wide of the net. It bounces right in front. Puck turned over to Motor City. They'll move it ahead, but lost to Underwood at center. Milam, but he stole it right back. And now it's kicked ahead on the left wing side. Colgan, Underwood, far side to Hunter. Both teams changing it up here. Hunter starts the rush, Shinkarik out with him. Shinkarik wheeling in over the line, nobody on the right side because Hunter went to the bench. Free pass for Motor City to move it out, but a stolen back, Slaheka to Shinkarik. Shinkarik pushing it to himself on the left side. Up top, on to the right wing, here's Layton, walks it in, his shot, score! Wick line with a deflection in front of the Layton shot from the right point. And the four on four does produce a goal for the River Dragons. 1-11 into the third period. And the first pro point for Parker Layton comes on an assist on that wick line marker. Wick line's got a goal and an assist now. That's a great start in exactly what Columbus needed here to open this third period, and there's plenty more time in this four on four. And now it's Jamea, Petrantonio, Bockwell, and Leighton. Here's Petrantonio moving it ahead on the left side. Leighton will push in. Petrantonio back up top to Leighton over to Slaheka, lets it go, and a left pad save there by Babin. Lahetka trying to turn it up. Now turned over in front to TJ Delaney, and he scores. Just that quick. Turnover and a goal. 
And just as Columbus closed the lead down, Motor City stretches it out again. That should be unassisted. 134 time of the goal. And it's 4-2 Motor City. So four on four continues for five seconds and then the River Dragons to a shortened power play. And there's a chance in the slot. Wick line driving in backhand, fed it across. Nobody there for it. Puck cleared towards the line. Will it be kept in Anderson? Hustling keeps it in. His shot tipped in front, ends up in the near corner. But the power play comes to a close. And so a very short River Dragons power play, but Wickline keeps it in, feeds it across, gets it back off the outside of the net. Fed around the right side, and now Duncan has to chase it down. Storja Hahn tipping it up the left side, Milam turning it back. And that one ends up. Not sure where that one ended up, but we get the whistle out of it. Might have hit the scoreboard. Faceoff goes back into the Motor City end. 4 2 year score. 2 18 into this third period. McDonald in for the faceoff. And they're going to throw out the Motor City forward, so Gullo steps in for it. Well, we still can't get this dropped. Try it one more time. And they tie up over it on the dot. Puck drifts to, towards the wall. McDonald steals it back. He'll throw it on goal. Babin knocked it away. Came right back towards McDonald. McDonald steals it away again. Down low, he feeds into the slot. Backing up Hunter with a shot and a blocker, St. Babin. Right sider's block will down. His chance, save made. Rebound in front, another stop by Babin. As Moore was right there, the backhand denied. Underwood will throw it back across, and now ahead to Moore tip that. They say yes, no icing. It goes right in on Babin, who will hold. And it'll hang on here. 2.51 gone in the third. 4-2 your score. McDonald, Hunter, and more up front. Slahetka and Layton back in the points. And McDonald tied up. Puck still on the dot, pulled out by Miguel Diaz. They'll play it around to the right side. Rockers try to leave the zone. They get it across. Finsaw will dump it in from center. Colgan can't catch up with it. Lost his stick in the process. Might have been stolen by the boards. Puck goes right in front. Slaheka has got to clear it away and out to center. Colgan can't get to his goal stick just yet. This is dumped back in. Leighton on it. He's going to hold it for a moment. Set it to the near side. Puck dumped down. Milam. No icing. Has to chase after it. Cleared on the left side. Not out. Hunter keeping it in. Had his stick lifted from behind as he tried to put it across. Kyle Moore over there on it. And McDonald. High slot. Keeps it in. Hunter. Hunter. Shot. Up over top of the net. Around to McDonald. The bouncing puck gets past him. Rocker is able to get it out of the zone. Now turn the other way, and here's a chance. Hunter, he's up by himself. Hunter with a shot, deflected wide. Petrantonio up on the right wing into the corner. Cleared to the line and not kept in. That offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E dot com. Old School Barber Shop, are your sides a little off? Get lined up today. Reservations are highly recommended. You can book online anytime on the website. Plus, 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook. And the River Dragons winning that draw outside the zone. They'll back up all the way into their own end with it. Now like to play in ahead. Here's Jamaif up the right side. Alexander Jamaif pushing on in on the wing. 
Into the corner, Petrantonio ramps it around to the left side. Duncan down for the left point, rolling puck. Then behind the net, Petrantonio trying to center. Comes out the near side, a backhand wraparound, can't get it to go. They'll try the far side. Knocked down over there. Duncan left point, holding it in with a shot. That's blocked. The high slot, Bersani on it. Back to Petrantonio, who's just now getting back to his stick. Cleared out through center and a roller down the ice. Duncan chasing. River Dragons resetting it up the left side to Anderson. He'll try to dump it in. Stopped at the line. Ends up with Koash. He'll move it ahead. Right side. Koash into the River Dragon zone. A shot that misses the net. Wraps around to the left point. Held in there. It's fed deep. Onto the far side. Anderson after it. Off the boards and out. Colton has to chase. Five gone here in the third. 4-2. Motor City in the lead. Puck comes down. That'll be an icing call. Anderson back for the touch. That's also going to get us to our first break of the period. 4-2 your score. Motor, Motor City in the lead. We'll take a break and come back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected, all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Back here on Columbus River Dragons Hockey, Tom Callahan here with you. 5-11 gone here in period number three. 4-2 your score. Face off to the left of Trevor Babin. So you got Drew Pierce on camera tonight. And uh, I'm doing the, uh, the audio and the video producing. So if you're listening on the radio or if you're watching on the YouTube feed, <laughs> I'm producing both of those tonight. That was the reason why we had commercials playing instead of Tom talking for a while in the second. So I apologize. This is beyond multitasking. This is like quintuple tasking. But again, like I said earlier, which might have been covered up by commercials, it's just another chapter for the book. Underwood's going to fire the puck back down from center. Babbitt out to play it. No icing here. It is getting frantic and frenetic out there. It's been physical on and off during the game, but the River Dragons may be feeling the pinch of time here. They need two. They're down 4 2. Every time Columbus has scored to get within a goal, Motor City has not wasted time in tying it up. The first time it took 39 seconds for Motor City to tie it up. Here's Svensson with a shot that is knocked away at the side of the net. Now Shinkarik is cross-checked down. Colton run into the net. That's going to bring a pile. Bockwill is upset. But the second time, it was just 22, 23 seconds before T.J. Delaney stole a puck and put it in the net. And I'll tell you what, Columbus just is... And a bit of a struggle trying to keep things on an even keel. They have not had successive momentum shift to shift. They may find little pockets of time, a minute here, a minute there, where they're out there and they're rolling. But it's been kind of scrambly. And the other thing, again, I go back to crediting Motor City because what Motor City's done a tremendous job of is just getting in front of Pox. They are fronting shots. They are taking away lanes. They are clogging it up in front of their goalie to the point where sometimes Babin doesn't see shots that do get through. But right now, I mean, Motor City is selling out, blocking everything, and it makes a difference. 
Motor City with the puck in the zone. There's a shot that is swept away in front. And now Colgan bothered by the traffic in front. Took a swipe at Giuliano. Giuliano side of the net. Decides to wrap it around. Delaney far circle. His shot is tipped into the netting. And we get another whistle here. 6.33 into the third period. Hi, Scott. Scott Brand dropping by for a moment. Face off will be to the left of the River Dragons goal. Justin McDonald in for the face off here. Congratulations to Parker Layton picking up his first pro point with an assist on the Cody Wickline goal earlier on here. Puck knocked down the ice and there's no icing here. Babbin's going to come out and fling it right back out to center down the other way. Layton after it. Well, they say no icing back to the River Dragons end. I don't know about that. Puck goes right to Colgan at the side of the net and he'll freeze. Face off to his left. Either way, it's feeling just slightly like one of those nights. In Columbus, 13 minutes and nine seconds left in this third period to try to make something happen. Colgan is adjusting his gear right now, so we're a little delayed before the faceoff, but now he's done. Draw to his left. There's jousting over there with Hunter and not really sure who that is over there in the right wing, but they're still tying up. I think that's Conway who has now moved away from that side as Hunter had to go over the faceoff and Hunter just decks his man off the draw. Gets it towards the line but not out. McGill Diaz holding him with a shot that sticked away in front. Hunter literally just won the physical battle for the puck right in the faceoff circle all by himself on that one. Sneath takes a cross check at him and goes back after Hunter. Sneath is carrying that stick pretty high. It must have been Sneath he knocked down. Conway on the right side into the corner. But you can see T.J. Sneath has taken a couple of swings at Ryan Hunter. River Dragons push it ahead. Left side here, Slahetka moving in. Trying to cut in front. Into the corner, Gould oh, tied up. And now near side, Hunter wrapping it around. Ends up with McDonald, but giving away in the slot. And now up come the Rockers. Left wing side, they move in. Smith with a shot towards the front of the net, deflected away. Slahetka pokes it to an open corner. Smith on it there, and it's knocked out by Slahetka. Columbus to the change while Jemayev up in the four check. Here's Swan attacking the line, couldn't keep it in, but Petrantonio does, lets it go, and a glove save Babbitt on that long shot. And now here we go. Well, Swan's going to get it on sportsmanlike as he took a swat there, and he hit somebody. I don't know who he hit. He hit either Babin or uh, the other Rockers player who was near him, but Sequoia Swan. I, I know what Swan's trying to do. I know he's trying to get into the head of the goaltender. I get it. That's a That was a blatantly bad way to do it. Eight oh two gone here in the third. Rockers to their third power play. Sequoia Swan into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. River Dragons kill is two for two on the evening. Face off will be to the right of Colgan. Draw one back by Columbus. Duncan will send it off the glass and down the ice. Jamea quickly in pursuit. Babin will play it away. Milam up the near side. Here's Vanderweel. Vanderweel watched by Jamea. McGill Diaz cuts through traffic. Left side to Milam. 
push to the left point. Giuliano hooks it down the wall. Puck towards the slot is pushed back to Milam, left corner. Puck ends up right point. Miguel Diaz with a shot, block. Milam jams that out of play off a stick in the slot. Looked like Anderson got the block on it. 122 to go in the Motor City power play. 11-19 left here in this third period. River Dragons trail by a pair. It's 4-2. Rockers in the lead. Puck one back to the point. Rockers on it. They feed over to the left side. Here's Colton. Left point, King. King at the line. Had to move it away quickly. Far side, Coash around behind the net. Conway back towards Coash. Pressured by Storjahan. Puck not out. Sneed. Conway centers. That went off the heel of the stick of Colgan. Puck turned over in the slot. Bouncer there, but now it goes back to Bersani, and he's able to clear. Colton will send it over to the far side. Rockers will send it right back in. Around the rim it goes on to the left wing. Conway over after it. Colton trying to cut in front. Puck to the point. King hanging on. Feeds it on the left wing side. Cleared ahead by the River Dragon. Store Jahan's just going to wheel back into his own end. Kill some clock here. Flip it across to Underwood. Underwood has a bouncing puck. Has to go to the far side. Now he banks it down. 22 seconds to go on the power play. Dump back in. Colgan will stop it behind the net. Storja Han on the left side. He'll fling it down. And ahead come the Rockers. In on the right side. Centering attempt goes off. Bockwell over to the near wing. Slahetka up the left side. Shakirik across. Wick line in over the line. Rolling puck. Tried to backhand it into space. Swan out of the box. And the River Dragons have killed it off. Vanderweel wheeling back inside his own zone. Swan watching him. Babin took a swing at Swan as he went through the goal crease. And Swan's going to go by in front again. Those two are going to certainly have some words as this game goes along. Smith cutting in, meanwhile, on the other end. Couldn't get a shot away there. Tried to go near side, stuff it on Colgan. Swan gloves one down in the slot. Looking to flip that one out to center. And it comes back down a bouncer at the Motor City Rockers line. 9.06 to go in the third. 4-2 year score. Rockers in the lead. Moore runs into his check. And now he gets knocked down in front of the bench. And here we go. Moore got decked by Smith. McDonald is getting in a shoving match over there with Wells. Swan and Wells. Or no, here we go. Swan is going to go with Avery Smith. They're going to try to settle the score here. They're going to engage right at center. And Avery Smith came in with the right and missed. Swan got back in with the right, ties him up. Smith back with the right. Swan in with the right of his own. Buckets are off, and they're going to throw some bombs in there, and Swan knocks him down. Well, Smith loving the adulation of the hometown crowd for losing that fight. Certainly there will be penalties, and we will tell you about them when we come back. 8.57 to go here in the third, 4-2. Motor City in the lead. Back in the morning in a moment, this is River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! 
go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Bumbo time! Set the tone! Kyle, tie your shoes, tie your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. All right, we are back 8.57 to go here in the third. River Dragons will have a power play out of this. This one snuck by me. I did not see this. However, uh, Columbus assistant coach, which I can guess is Jay Krupp, picked up a game misconduct for leaving the bench. So that was at 8.02 when Swan got his unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So he got a game for that. All right, River Dragons to the power play with their one for two tonight. Puck comes out of the zone to start it off. It's the Loft power play. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show them your River Dragons tickets up for two for one cover. Puck at the side of the net, Babbitt's gonna like to cover. 8.40 to go here in the third. 1.44 to go in the River Dragons power play. And, well, now they're going to go to the media timeout that I already went to. So we're going to stay here and iron out these penalties for you. I don't know how we didn't go to it before. But that's all right. <laughs> we can give our sponsors all the love. Okay, so... Right now they've got uh, the Swan and Avery fighting majors and then cross-checking is what was called Wells. He picked that one up for decking Kyle Moore there. That was the initial call and then the fight. I followed that up. River Dragons power play has been hot lately. Two for three last night, one for two tonight. Of course the penalty kill has been absolutely outstanding. But the power play has been so good lately, it's actually moved up into second for tonight's game at 28%. Rockers kill at 82.9. That is second to Columbus's 85.9. Faceoff coming up to the left of Babin with the five out there, although we're still waiting on the hold for the media timeout coming back here. Petrantonio in for the faceoff. Comes over to the near side, back of the right point. Up top, Bockwell getting it across. Petrantonio into the corner. Moore swings it in front, bouncing puck ends up, comes down to the far side. And Columbus on the right side, McDonald to store Jahan. McDonald looking on the right half wall, cross ice feed, but it hopped off the stick of Petrantonio. Up top, Bach will taking Austin Doe's place on this power play unit. Bach will over to McDonald to Bach will. Petrantonio doesn't shoot, tried to sweep it in front behind the net more. Petrantonio, one minute to go on the man advantage. Bockwell lets it go. His shot tipped on the way in, just missed. McDonald, Moore, far side, in front. Babin the save. Rebound is cleared. Second power play unit comes out. Shinkarik, 38 seconds to go. Seven and a half to go in the third. Moore. Or pardon me, Hunter left side, Shinkarik left point, left side. Hunter on the half wall, he's knocked down, lost the puck, puck to the line. Shinkarik put it in, but off of Hunter, and it's cleared out. And now Giuliano, a break up the left side, short-handed, but an off angle. His shot stopped by Colgan, hugging that right post. 13 seconds to go on the power play. Ryan Hunter, right side, moving in, has help going to the net. Hunter, pass tipped into the corner. Played around the near side, time ticking down. The power play comes to a close. 
Columbus keeps the pressure. Hunter in with a shot. Same man in front is Babin. Ends up colliding with Jemayev after Jemayev was taken down by one of the Rockers in front. And now Jemayev gets Wells in his face and a couple other players over there for Motor City. Six fifty-two to go on the third. Four-two. Rockers in the lead. Here's Bersani in for the face-off. Wins it back. Wick line a shot. That one is deflected wide. Left point kept in by Duncan. His shot is tipped into the netting. So the draw will stay inside the Motor City zone. Draw one back by the Rockers. They look to move it ahead here. Sneath on the near side. That one will be dumped in as Colgan now to stop it behind the net, flips it around the far wing. Storge Hahn trying to move it ahead. Bersani onto the right side to Wickline. And now Duncan pushing on on the left wing. Tipped away by Babbitt behind the net. Duncan knocked down over there. Motor City with a lob ahead, and now here they go in a goal, a shot, and Coash put it high over top of the net. Boy, just that fast. Motor City's looking for the stretch, and they found it. Coash puts it in front, kicked away by Duncan to the corner. We'll play it up the wall off of Storjahan, not out. Stays in the slot, shot by Gullo, and that is absorbed by Colgan. He'll hold 5.47 to go in the third. 4-2 Motor City in the lead. And now every whistle involves a conversation. Face off coming up to the right of Colgan. Long conversation with the linesman here before we get this puck dropped. McDonald and Giuliano. Motor City controls, but the puck pushed to the line and out. Underwood back on it. He'll look to move it ahead on the left side. Here's Bockwell up the glass. Chip back. McDonald ends up with it just over the line. And now Motor City able to clear it again. Underwood after the roller. Turned over in the far side corner, Delaney centering feed and diving out to hold it. He is Colgan as Fintoff couldn't get a shot away and now here we go again, Delaney mixing it up with Bockwell. Svintsov getting the glove in there. Five eighteen to go in the third. Self will come to the right of Colgan. No penalties coming out of that. Sneep out there along with Conway on his left side, King of the right. Shinkarik trying to win that draw over. It goes into the corner. They tie up over it. Towards the point held in by Vanderwill. Colgan knocks it aside. Leighton over after it. The play to the near side to Slahetka. Turned over in the slot. King in with a shot and a save. Colgan 
Another horrible turnover in the slot by the River Dragons, but this time Colgan makes the save. 4-2 Rockers, five minutes to go here in this third period. We are back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. And we are back on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Five minutes to go in this third period. 4-2 Motor City in the lead. River Dragons need a pair if they're gonna push this past regulation. Well, they didn't like that face off. Let's do it again. Draw to the right of Colgan. Face off one back by Shinkarik. Fed around onto the left side. Duncan with a long stretch pass. Looking for Petra Antonio. Bounces past him. That's an icing call. Well, we've got a moment. Let's take a break. Ten seconds on the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 1069 really rocks. 451 left to go in the third. 4-2 Motor City in the lead. Face off will come now to the left of Colgan. Shin Carrick in across from Sneed. Colgan resetting the gear once again here. Tied up on the dot. Puck over to the right side. Petrantonio is going to push it ahead. He'll move in with it. Petrantonio with a shot. Babbin, an easy glove save there. But the River Dragons will get an offensive zone draw with 444 to go here in the third period. So maybe a chance to start with a little possession in the offensive zone. It should Carrick and Petrantonio talking it over. Tied up on the dot. Petrantonio on the right side. Leaving an option. Carrick centered. Nobody there. Duncan down for the left point. Keeping it alive. Gets it back in the left half wall. His shot. In on goal. Babbin the save. Carrick took a pretty wicked slash right there from Fields. And the River Dragons are going to put out McDonald, Moore, and Hunter. Duncan and Anderson remain on the points. 4.27 to go on the third. McDonald, glance over the left shoulder, wins the draw towards Hunter. Hunter able to keep it on the wall, left side, but he's pinned up by King. Delaney bouncing into the line off the chest of Duncan. He'll fire it into the right wing corner. Now it's played to the right side, not out. Kept in by Columbus in front. McDonald bounce back to him, a shot and a save. Babin into the center. There's a shot, more save. Jamming away. Hunter can't get it to go. Up to the left point, Duncan over after it. Now it ends up on the right side. And turned down the ice, Anderson. 
on to the left wing. Dumps it back in. Will that be icing? No. Columbus maintaining the pressure. Turned over McDonald in front. And Moore couldn't handle the pass as it bounced away from him. And it's cleared to center. 3.41 to go in the third. Boy, Columbus just is not getting the breaks right now. Underwood pressured, moves it ahead, looking for Hunter. Hunter, trouble with it in his skates. And now Hunter up the right side. He'll work it into the corner. Fed around to the far side, Duncan over after it. McDonald trying to help him out. Long shift here for the River Dragons. They're finally able to change it out in the cycle. Here's Storjahan up the right side. Keeps it in, bounces to Wickline in the slot. And moved away to the left side. Duncan down low, able to keep it in. Storjahan feeding it in front. Wickline off his body. Here's Bersani, and it hopped over his stick. Oh, my goodness. Cleared around the wall and out. That is just how it's been going. Bersani will chop it back in from center. Columbus has to tag up. Two and a half to go as Motor City on the reset. To the line, kept in by Bach. Will bounce her into the slot. Now it's cleared out. We'll keep an eye on Colgan here to see if he leaves the net. Quick line will tip it into the right wing corner. Storjahan in after it. Persani, left wing corner, wick line. Fields trying to walk out with it, lost it in the slot. Bersani a shot and a right pad save. Bab and around it comes Bersani again, turned it towards the net, deflected to the near side. Two minutes to go in the third. Puck stays in left point, shot coming in, save Babbitt. Oh boy, trickle just wide of the crease. Colgan still in his, speaking of which. Cleared out to center, Bockwell back after it, dumps it right back in. 145 to go in the third. River Dragons with the offensive zone pressure. I'm surprised Colgan's not out already. 135 to go. Bach will calling for a change in behind the play as they keep the pressure on. Bucking the points, Laheka. And that's cleared out and away and down the ice. No icing, not enough gas as Leighton back for it. Leighton will fire it up the wall. Jameev ahead to Shinkarik. Shinkarik on the left side, Jameev, and Colgan was going to try to leave, but he has to go back in as the Rockers move ahead. Giuliano on the right side, Delaney in the right wing corner. Puck tied up as we are now one minute left to go in regulation. Columbus needs two, and Colgan will leave with the rush. Slahetka moving it in over the line, around behind the net it goes. Petrantonio trying to fire it in front and deflects out of play. So now I expect Columbus will probably use its timeout here. As they do have the empty net and the offensive zone faceoff. Let's see if they do that. Faceoff left of Bab, and they do not use the timeout. And now they are indeed going to call the timeout. So 50.4 seconds to go in the third. 4-2 is your score. Motor City in the lead. Six skaters out there. It'll be Slaheka, McDonald, Stor, Jahan, Hunter, Moore, and Shinkarik. Face off to the left of Babin.
Donald in for the draw. It ends up in the corner. Milam after it sends it around the rim of the right side. Conway can't clear though. Storjahan with it. He is wrapped up and now it's backhanded out of there. Down the ice for an icing call. Slahetka hustling to get the whistle with 37.7 seconds to go. Face off will be to the right of Babin. It's one back by McDonald towards the right point. Slaheka hustling over. Can he keep it in? Yes. On to the right wing side. Puck tied up on the half boards. Plenty of bodies in there after it. It's free. McDonald turns, shoots. Bab in the right pad. Save. Rebound kicked in on goal. Bouncing puck. A shot by Hunter. Where to go? Out of play with 19.3 seconds to go. I don't know if they're going to put any time back on the clock there or not. McDonald will once again take the face off. One into the pile to his left, cleared down the ice, and Slahetka again hustling to get that icing call with 12.8 seconds to go. As the clock draws the inevitable conclusion that Columbus will not pick up any points here tonight. Face off is one back and onto the zone. That's going to do it. Hunter trying to turn it ahead, and that hits the roof. 3.5 seconds to go. And well, the win streak comes to an end at seven games, and it looks like the league record scoring streak will be set at 38 games. Justin McDonald. An absolutely incredible run comes to an end here tonight with the face off at center ice. Storjahan will pull it back, but that's it. The game's over. And so is McDonald's incredible league record scoring streak. 38 games for Justin McDonald. A point in every game since December 1st until tonight. 35 goals, 53 assists, 88 points over the course of that streak and an incredible league record set by Justin McDonald. And it comes to an end here tonight. 4-2, Motor City ends up defeating the Columbus River Dragons in the final game of the regular season series. And so it's time for us to move it on into Pepsi post-game show mode here as the River Dragons down by the Rockers. We've got those three stars of the game coming up for you in just a moment as those are brought to you by Wade Cleaners. Plus, we've got a scoring wrap and a final look back at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. All that and more coming your way here in just a moment. We'll be right back. This is River Dragons Hockey. Rome, no, no. Get low. Get low. Get low. 369. Ooh, she fine. Hope she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. 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 Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild.
At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. by the local media and your third star. Well, it's a Rockers clean sweep here tonight. Danny Vanderweel, your third star. Pavel Svintsov, your second. And TJ Delaney, your first star here tonight. Those are your three stars of the game brought to you by Wade Cleaners. We'll take a break at the Pepsi Post Game Show. When we come back, we will do the scoring wrap for you and a final look back at that out-of-town scoreboard. Stay tuned. That's coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Six nine, ooh she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wild, to the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston. City Rockers, 4-2 winners over your Columbus River Dragons here tonight. And the River Dragons, let's go back and look at the scoring summary here. As Columbus ends up giving up the first goal of the game here, and that was in the first period at 9.24. And that opening marker for the Motor City Rockers comes courtesy of Svintsov. It's ninth of the year from T.J. Delaney and Giuliano at 9.24. And it was one nothing after one into the second period, just one. Just 150 in the second period. Vanderweel scores from Giuliano and Svensson, and it's 2 0 Motor City. But the River Dragons get on the board to 4 11, a power play goal for Alexander Jamea, his 29th of the season. From Wickline and Hunter, but 39 seconds later, Motor City answers back McGill Diaz from Svensson and Delaney, and it's 3 1 after two periods of play. Into the third we go, just 111 into it. Cody Wickline scores in a four on four situation from Leighton and Slahetka. That assist by Leighton is his first professional point with an assist on that play. Congratulations to him. But 24 seconds later, Motor City would restore that two goal edge. TJ Delaney, an unassisted marker, as he steals one in the River Dragons' end and puts it past a surprise Brennan Colgan. That was the insurance that Motor City needed. 4-2, your final here tonight. Shots by period in the game for the River Dragons. 10 in the first, 11 in the second, 16 in the third for 37. And for the Rockers, four in the first, but 14 in the second, six in the third for 24 total. Power plays tonight. The River Dragons finish off this game one for three. 
And the Rockers go 0 for 3 with the man advantage here this evening. That's it for our look back at the scoring wrap. Stay tuned. There's Elmo zipping out of town. Scoreboard coming up. And uh, good news, bad news for River Dragons fans. Well, you'll just have to stick around and find out. Back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. Zelmo's fueling life's passions since 1999. And on the out-of-town, well, a little bit of good news for the River Dragons. The Port Huron Prowlers 4-1 winners over the Binghamton Black Bears tonight. And so that does actually move Columbus three points closer to clinching the Federal Prospects Hockey League regular season title for this season. Why? Well, because it takes away three points from the total possible points that the Black Bears could themselves earn. And so now it's a four-point number is the River Dragons, uh, what they're looking forward to here in trying to close out the FPHL. And over at Danbury Arena, Boy, it's a barn burner now. Late in the third period, Danbury with a 6-4 lead over the Watertown Wolves. Boy, the Wolves are really coming on here in the back half of this schedule. Meanwhile, Carolina, 5-0 winners tonight over the Blue Ridge Bobcats. And this one's still going on heading into the third. The Mississippi Sea Wolves up 3-1 on the Baton Rouge Zydeco. In the NHL tonight, how about the Buffalo Sabres? Five unanswered scores, four of them by Tage Thompson. And the Sabres rally past the Devils. 5-2, your final score. Men's basketball tonight. Couple of finals from earlier. Number one, Purdue survives. Number five, Gonzaga, 80-68. And number 11, NC State is moving on. They beat number two, Marquette, 67-58. They advance to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1986. Game's going on right now. You've got number one, Houston, leading number four, Duke, 10 to seven. And early in the first half, just tipping it off, number three, Creighton has a 7-6 advantage over number two, Tennessee. Major League Baseball out of town. Scoreboard game's going on right now. Astros up 1-0 on the Yankees, top of the seventh. Guardians 3-0 over the Athletics, top of the third. Red Sox, Mariners, scoreless, top of the third. 3-0 Giants lead the Padres in the top of the third. At the end of the second inning, the Diamondbacks 2-1 over the Rockies. Bottom of the first, Cardinals and Angels are scoreless. Finals from earlier today, Brewers 3-1 over the Mets. Rays 8-2 over the Blue Jays. Pirates 7-2 over the Marlins. And the Braves 9-3 winners over the Phillies. That's our final look back at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo Zippin. And that is our final segment of the Pepsi Post Game Show. As the River Dragons back in action tomorrow night as they will return to Port Huron to wrap up the season series 
against the Prowlers. Hope you can join us for that game as tomorrow night the River Dragons dropping the puck at 7.05 Eastern time, 6.30 on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show on the radio side and, of course, on our YouTube page as well. Our thanks to everybody for being a part of the broadcast here tonight. Drew Pierce doing yeoman's work this evening and the first time he's ever run camera. Nice job, Drew. Well done, well done. Well, uh, I just, you know, royally screwed up producing this evening. So, uh, yes, tomorrow you're back on producing. So, all right. Thanks for joining us, everybody. 4-2, your final Motor City with the victory here tonight. But the River Dragons, a chance to salvage two out of three on the weekend tomorrow night back in Port Huron. That's it for the Pepsi Post Game Show. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. This is Tom Callahan saying good night. Saying good night. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelmo Zip-In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons. Let's rock. Back to the most new rock anywhere. 106.9 Rocks.